Yo on YouTube, Chris here, aka X9, 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 X9 times 5, whatever you want to say. And I'm going to be doing a review of the uh, Colonial Mod clone from, uh, ooh, hold on one second. Sig Green. From Sig Green. Probably should have grabbed that before the video. Uh, I picked this up at Voltage Vapor Shop in uh, Palestine, Texas. I was down there visiting some family. And figured I'd stop by and pick this up once I saw Twisted's review. Uh, but anyways, I figured I would dive on into this and, and show you this device. It's a full aluminum. This is the gunmetal gray. It looks more like a matte black than anything. It's got the Mad Industries logo there. The uh, I've dropped this a few times, as you can see. The recessed, like, uh, convex uh, switch, which I absolutely love. And, I mean, it works really well. I mean, I just have the uh, Patriot on here, brushed. Um, I I'm loving this thing. And I don't buy devices very often. I mean, the last device I bought was that uh, Atomo, Atomo, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let's uh, take this thing apart and get on into it. You know, you're standing, it's 23 millimeter. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of a lip there, kind of a pain in the ass, but you know what, uh, it's for $32 or whatever I paid for it, I'm super pleased. Uh, as you can see, I've got this paper here, I got a new desk, it's glass underneath, kind of a bad reflection if I uh, don't have it. But, you know, you've got your top cap here, got a little juice on there, your regular old 510 threaded aluminum top cap. I think it's pretty much the same as the penny mod, but I could be wrong. This does come out. I'm not going to pull it out right now. You know, your Delrin plastic, ABS, whatever that plastic is. It might be Delrin, it might not be. And these are copper-plated contacts. They might actually be fully copper. I know the bottom contact is not, uh, is not solid copper. It's copper-plated brass. But these might just be copper-plated brass or they're solid copper. I'm not sure. You got your battery adjustment screw. The first one I picked up actually was missing this screw, and I had driven about four miles down the road and realized that that screw was missing. And I was just going to deal with it, and then I remembered that the shop was closed on Sundays because I picked this up on a Saturday. Uh, I don't know, I guess it was last weekend or weekend before last. Actually, no, it was last weekend. And the shop was closed on Sunday, so I had to turn around and go back and, and exchange it out. But, you know, that threads in and out, works fairly well. Then the device. I've got an old EH battery in here just because everything else is dead. Now it's just a solid aluminum tube with your switch down there. I've actually sanded that down to kind of figure out if it was solid copper or if it was just copper plated. And uh, uh, Twisted420 is one that made me want to get this device. His video he didn't take apart the switch. I'm going to do it. It's a pain in the ass to put back together, but I'm going to do it for you. So let's get this down. Actually, let me show you inside just a little bit more, if I can. You know, you got a little lip down in there that your battery sits on. Whenever you press up, this uh, comes to make contact. Now, I don't know if that lip is plastic or if it's metal. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. But let's get this apart. You have to have a pretty long screwdriver to get down in there. This one's a little longer than necessary. Just a big old flathead screw. I'm sure you can see that copper plated brass. Then your switch. It's very simple. A spring and that. The device does have venting underneath the battery. And uh, it does vent, unlike the Manhattan. If I were to put the switch back in there and blow through there, it works just fine. And you can see the uh, anodizing, or however they did it, kind of got down in there. It's not a problem at all. Uh, there's no anodizing on the threads, and that's the only contact, you know, threaded point other than the switches or the switch and the 510. So really, that's all you have to clean. I don't put no locks on my stuff. I just I just clean with the brush. I 
feel like no locks is unnecessary. I actually use uh, the stuff called Cramolin I've got over here in my drawer. You can't buy it anymore. They have this stuff called Deoxit and uh, same stuff. Made by the same company. Just the Cramolin supposedly had something toxic in it or something. But yeah, let's see if I can get this back together here on camera. This is the biggest pain in the ass right here. You have to drop your screw down in there and just start shaking away. Oh, I actually got it. Holy shit. It's fast as I've done that. Throw your screwdriver down in there. Hold it in place. Don't want to mess this up. All right, now here's my one problem with it. Whenever that screw is all the way down, you've got a tiny bit of a ledge right there, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, I can feel it whenever I'm firing the device. Whenever I'm firing this, I'm kind of holding it more like this instead of like this. I've broken both both my hands as uh, boxers break. Being stupid, punching this door over here one time, the other time table saw kicked back. Long story, don't need to get into it. Uh, actually, it's right here. I can show you what happened. Screw it. I'm going to get into the store. So, squaring this up in my table saw, running it through like this. You know, blades here, uh, fences here. I'm running it through like this. Me being stupid, I pulled this. You know, after I ran it through, I pulled it back through the blade. And as you can see what happened, I pulled it and this just grabbed it. This grabbed it and just threw it back. My left hand was resting back on the back of the table saw and I was standing out of the way this came flying back and it climbed up my knuckle until it got right there and got me at the corner and just shattered this knuckle but anyways that's besides the point shit it's knocked over a bunch of stuff here on my desk uh... box all comes with plastic uh... wrap and that's it i've dropped this box so it's got a ding on two on it but the box is pointless probably gonna throw that out anyways uh, but yeah, this thing works great. I, I'm in love with it. If you get the chance, pick one up. Uh, I actually convinced one of my local stores to order the, uh, the black ones in. So I'll probably be picking up another one. And I, I do plan on actually brushing this one. Or brushing, aka sanding it down. So it'll just be like a matte aluminum finish and hopefully it will match the, uh, the, this brushed whatever you will call it, brushed up Patriot. Oh, my VTC-5s are getting torn to hell. I uh, had some heat shrink tubing laying around and I decided, let's try this. You know, I wrapped it, rewrapped it, works pretty well. My problem is, I've, I've got a cheap-ass trust fire charger, uh, one that you can trust to catch on fire. I, this is my only charger I'm using, but it doesn't work very well in there. I actually have to throw a little magnet spacer on top to get it charged, but it still works. I'm going to put this EH battery back in here, drop it down in there. And what I've been doing is I've been loosening this, you know, not too far, but, you know, a decent amount, and then screwing it on. And I see I've got a little bit of a gap there, so all I'll do is I'll unscrew it, push in, turn, let out, you know, and then unscrew it again. And I'll do that until I'm blush, and actually I overdid it just a little bit. But, you know, that... that that's how I've been doing it instead of just taking it apart each time and getting it just right. I'm lazy. But yeah, uh, that's my review of the uh, Colonial Mod clone from uh, Sig Green. Definitely worth the $32 or whatever it was from uh, Voltage Vapor. I'm sure there's cheaper places online, but I'm going to throw a link out to Voltage Vapor. Nice guys. Unfortunately, uh, Vaping with Twisted 420 wasn't there whenever I went in, so I didn't get to meet them. But who gives a fuck? I mean, he's just a YouTuber, regular old guy. All right, you guys have a good day, and I uh, hope to see you next time.